Are you among the many people who are eagerly awaiting Tesla's Q3 earnings announcement and hoping for better news than bad? Even detractors are now just as excited about this Q3 release as supporters are. You definitely shouldn't miss this earnings call if you've been waiting to find out how much money you can make with Tesla shares following the Q3 results. With an inspirational goal to hasten the global switch to sustainable energy, Tesla is the world's top manufacturer of electric vehicles. Although it has led this sector since its founding about 20 years ago, Tesla has really emerged as a major player in the last five years, going from being a competitor to a titan of the sector. A press announcement from Tesla on August 2nd reads in the Third quarter, we produced over 365,000 vehicles and delivered over 343,000 vehicles within the Tesla community. This announcement caused a stir. The results impressed Tesla supporters, but the same numbers have once again drawn criticism from the media. Prior to continuing, Mumu created a new role known as the industrial chain. Let's say you wish to discover which stocks might change over the next several days or months. You will greatly benefit from the industrial chain. It offers a thorough overview of the hottest sectors of such semiconductors and electric vehicles finding stocks quickly either upstream or downstream allows you to concentrate on specific industrial segments more rapidly additionally since segments and industries are related you could forecast price changes more quickly without having to read a lot of research papers to understand the relationships inside a single industry in the description a link according to a news release issued by tesla's investor relations division Historically, regional batch building of cars has caused our delivery volumes to skew towards the end of the year. It is getting harder and harder to get vehicle. Transportation capacity during these weeks of peak logistics at a fair price as our production volumes keep rising. We started moving towards a weekly regional mix of vehicle manufacturing in Q3, which at the conclusion of the quarter resulted in more. Automobiles in transit. Customers will receive these autos when they arrive at their destination. They have been ordered the business declared that October 19th will be the day of the QA webcast and Tesla's Q3 2022 financial reports. The remaining financial performance of the EV company will be disclosed together with its net income and cash flow figures. Deliveries of Tesla vehicles are just one indicator of the company's financial performance and the mix of directly leased vehicles, foreign exchange fluctuations, and cost of sales are just a few of the variables that affect quarterly financial results which are dependent on a number of other factors as well as Q3 earnings. Everything that makes a lot of money takes a lot of time at Tesla. Enthusiast said in a news release, upon reading worried remarks regarding Tesla's third quarter production and delivery figures, he revealed that first he too thought the company was in decline. Things did not take him long to see things differently though. Actually, he thinks Q3 looks to have been a good quarter. Furthermore, he revealed that he is more optimistic than ever. He claims that the bears will be everywhere following Tesla's publishing of its third quarter financial reports, trying to scare off ordinary investors into selling. It said that bears would use the very underwhelming delivery figures to argue that demand for Tesla cars is declining. But he thinks people who read up on Tesla are aware that the company's worth will increase not in the next few days or months, but in five years. If not longer, it might take 10 or 15 years for Tesla to rank among the most valuable businesses globally. Because of this, it will likely be more meaningful to purchase more shares rather than sell them as bears may advise during the Q3 earnings call, especially now that the price of the stock is down in the $200 level as opposed to $900 several months ago. As a matter of fact, more individual investors are holding out for Tesla's stock price to drop in order to purchase additional shares before the company flies to new heights. It will undoubtedly reach a very high level in the next five years, even though it might not do so in the near future. The goal with Tesla is not to become wealthy quickly. Any program to become rich quick is actually a scam. It is ineffective. Scams abound, declares the Tesla aficionado. He asserts that investing in Tesla, like anything else that generates large sums of money, is a time-consuming endeavor. Bulls and Tesla think. There is no demand issue for the company. The truth is that the increase in pricing is due to a supply-side issue. Since its gigafactory is already at capacity, Tesla is attempting to build more. Nevertheless, even though hysteria might break out following the Q3 earnings call, it will be beneficial to pause, maintain composure, and make sensible choices. Due to the results of the earnings call, other investors will most likely lose their minds and panic as Tesla's stock price drops. 
But remember that Tesla is a long-term investment, so those seeking to make quick money will be very let down. Although analysts think Tesla has a lot of room to grow in the long run, the erratic stock also has a lot to lose in a market that is firmly in the hands of the bears. Indeed, just after the firm revealed third quarter production and delivery data that fell. Short of analyst projections, Tesla shares finished down more than 8%. Estimates provided by Factset owned street accounts show that Tesla reported 343,000 overall deliveries and 365,000 vehicles produced during the quarter, missing analyst expectations of 364,000, six expectations of 364,000, vehicles delivered. The closest estimate of Tesla's stated sales is provided by deliveries compared to the previous quarter when the company reported making 258,580 automobiles, total production climbed. According to its report, Tesla produced 345,988 of its more popular Model 3 and YV vehicles and 19,935 of its more costly Model S and X vehicles during Q3. As the firm continues to prioritize premium variants of its vehicles in a supply-constrained environment, Experts predict an even bigger increase for Q3 2022. Over Q2 2022, average price is four. Tesla vehicles increased by around 14% year over year. Furthermore, in June, Tesla increased the cost of its most popular Model Y by roughly $3,000, while the more expensive Model X and S saw larger increases. Additionally, margins can experience a resurgence Although production headwinds in China and investments in ramping up production at its newest plants in Germany and Texas caused Tesla's automotive margins to drop from 32.9% in Q1 to 27.9% in Q2 2022, experts predict that they could recover once more in Q3, propelled by improved economies of scale and rising average selling prices. Tesla stock has experienced some difficulties recently, uh, falling by roughly 16% over the last month, but most investors are still positive about the company's prospects and value Tesla stock at about $341 per share, which is nearly 40% above the current market price. This could be partially offset by higher material costs. As it ramps up production at its new factories, Tesla should make up for the lower than expected quarterly delivery statistics. Despite growing worries, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has said that the company does not seem to be having a problem with demand. Demand is not the company's constraint. Output is the Model Y SUV's projected delivery schedule extended to a maximum of six months. Furthermore, Tesla has among of the best margins in the automotive sector, which could help the business maintain a stable profit margin even as sales continue to climb. The electric vehicle maker's announcement has divided Wall Street analysts thus far, and the stock price decline indicates that investors are concerned about the delivery figures. While a JP Morgan analyst maintained an underweight rating on Tesla, Stating that the business's expectations were met, a Goldman Sachs analyst maintained Tesla's buy rating and stated the company will continue to benefit from the long-term shift to electric vehicles. Um, in a note sent out after the Q3 deliveries report, Jeffrey Osborne, Cohen's Managing Director for Energy Sustainability and Mobility Tech, stated Tesla has ample cash and has undertaken a meaningful global manufacturing expansion with facilities in China, Berlin, and Austin, Texas, with the latter two approaching full ramp, although there is still fierce competition in the EV market, Tesla is probably.